In this tutorial video, we will see the procedure to create a lowered ventilator. This is just a supplementary video to my series of video tutorials on 3D house modeling. On this 3D house, on the right wall face, I would like to create two lowered ventilators. So I'll generate a view in which the right face is exposed. So I'll click on this particular hotspot of the view cube to generate a southeast isometric. And I'll just click on orbit this navigation tool and I'll select uh, the orbit and I'll orbit the view a bit. And you can see the provisions wherein the ventilators are to be created. Now let me switch over to a realistic representation to see the openings clearly. This opening is made by creating a box having the dimensions of the ventilator. Uh, the length of the ventilator is 100 cm and its height is 75 cm. So I have made such a box and I have given a thickness equal to the thickness of the wall which was 24 cm. Then I have subtracted that particular box from the wall to get this cutout. If you need any clarifications on making such a cutout, you can refer to my previous videos on making windows and doors in the same tutorial series. Okay, so let's create the ventilator. We will start with the ventilator frame. Before we start creating the frame, we have to make the 3D window frame layer as the active layer because I want the ventilator frame to appear on the same layer of the window frame. Okay, now we have to align the UCS on this face. So I'll go to view tab and I'll click on UCS three point option. Okay, I'll click on this icon or else you can give UCS command and I'll select the three point option. I'll keep my origin here x direction here and y direction here. My UCS is kept over here now. Now we should make sure that your dynamic UCS is off when you trace the polyline profile to create the frame. Now I'll go to home tab and I'll select the polyline command from the draw panel. Now it'll ask you to pick the vertices. I'll pick the vertices over here. One, two, three, fourth vertex I'll pick here. Then I'll just give a close. To complete the polyline profile. This is the profile which you have traced. Then I'll give an offset command. So I'll select offset. Then it'll ask you for the offset distance. I'll give six as the offset distance because that is a frame thickness of the ventilator. And I'll select this as an object to offset and I'll pick the side to create the offset. Now I'll go to extrude command and I'll uh, select these two profiles and I'll extrude it through a distance of minus 10 units because that is a thickness or the frame. Now I'll go to subtract uh, from the solid editing palette and I'll select the outer box then I'll just give an enter then select the inner box and enter. So we have made an outer frame of the ventilator. Now we have to create a partition frame. For that I'll use polyline command again and I'll pick my uh, first point here on this mid and second point on the uh, mid of the bottom edge of the frame. Now I'll again go to offset okay and I'll give an offset distance of three units which is half the frame width. So three on this side and three on this side I have made offsets. Now the center profile is no longer required so you select that profile then you can erase it. Now we have to complete this profile as a close profile. So I'll give polyline and I'll select these two endpoints. Okay, then you can draw another polyline connecting these two endpoints and you can go to modify panel and you can select join from here. Okay, and you select all the profiles to be joined as a single profile or else you can use P edit join option just as we have done earlier. Now you can extrude this profile as well. Okay, so I went to extrude. Then I'll select this profile to be extruded. You give the same extrusion thickness as minus 10. Okay. Now we can make these two objects as a single object by performing a union operation. So just click on union and you select this and this that is the outer frame and the partition frame to make a single object out of it. So this is the frame of the ventilator. Let's create the lowers next. So I'll change my visual style to 2D wireframe. Then I'll keep 
the 3D window glass layer as the active layer because I want my lure to appear on this layer. Now I'll create the profile of the lure. But before I create the profile, I must align the UCS on the side face of the ventilator. So I'll go to view tab and I'll click three point option of the UCS command and I'll keep my origin here X in this direction and Y in this direction. Now you can see that the XY plane is aligned on the side face of the ventilator. So I'll select a rectangle from here and I'll pick my first corner on the screen and I can go to dimension option. So I'll click on dimensions. When I'm asked to give the length, I can give 12. Okay. When I'm asked to give the width, I can give one. Now, when I'm asked to give the side uh, to pick the opposite corner, you can pick any corner. I'll pick over here. So I've completed the rectangle. Now I can go to move command and I can select this particular rectangle and I'll pick the base point as this end point and the second point as this end point. Okay. It is moved and it is aligned. Now I can give a rotate command and I'll select this rectangle. When I'm asked to give the base point, I can select this as the base point and I'll give a rotation angle of minus 35 degrees because I want the rotation to take place in the clockwise direction. Okay. So it is rotated. Now you can go to extrude command and I'll select this profile and I can give the height of extrusion when I'm asked. I don't have to give any numeric values, but I can just pick a point over here to specify the height of extrusion. So you have made the first lure. Now you have to generate multiple copies of this lure in the negative y direction. So the command is array. So you can give array and you can select array classic. Okay. If you are using all the versions of AutoCAD, you can give array. In 2013, it's array classic. It will let you generate multiple copies. So when I'm asked to give the number of rows, I can give a nine number of columns. I can give one and uh, the row offset that is distance between individual element in a row is minus seven. I must give it as minus seven because I want the array formation to take place in the negative y direction. You can just select the objects to be arrayed. Okay. And you can just preview the array. So you have made multiple copies. Okay. And you can just give okay to exit this array command. Now we have to copy these lures onto the other side. For that, I'll go to copy command and I'll select all these lures using a standard window and I'll select my base point as this point and I'll pick my second point as this point. So it is copied. Now we will add a few materials on this ventilator. So I'll change my representation to realistic and I'll click on a render tab and I'll select material browser. In the material browser, you have a number of materials which comes along with the software is available and you can select the individual objects. Then you can click on the material and assign it. So I'll select the frame. Okay. Then I'll go to wood. Just click on wood. You will see various types of wooden materials available in this wooden panel materials. And I'll select this paneling one, for example, then you just right click and you click on assign to selection. The moment you click on that, this outer frame will get that particular material. And I would like to assign a glass finish for these lures. To assign the material, you have to select the lures first. So I'll switch over to wireframe representation because in this representation, you can make more accurate selections and using a standard window, I'll select all the lures in one click. Then I'll go to glass material. I have different types of glazing material. I'll select a blue glazing, for example, and I right click here, then I click on assign to selection. And these lures have got this glass material. And if you want to see the change, you should switch over to a realistic representation. So now you have a preview of the material. The actual material feel you will get only when you go for final rendering. And now I have to copy this because I have another provision over here. So I'll copy the entire ventilator and I'll keep it over here. So I'll go to home tab and I'll select uh, copy and using a window, I'll perform a copy. Okay. I'll just copy this and I'll select this as a base point And this as a second point. Now you have got the copy of the ventilator onto the other provision. So this is how you make a ventilator with lures using AutoCAD 3D. Uh, the realistic feel of this materials you will get only when you go for final rendering. 
for that i'll go to render tab and i'll click on render region option here okay so it'll ask you whether you want to install this image library and all that you can just cancel it for the time being and you can pick two corner points to define the window okay because i want the area that is captured using the window to be rendered just click on that and autocad will start rendering you have to wait for some time for the result to appear in fact you will get more realistic rendering only when you assign certain parameters such as lights cameras etc so we'll have an exclusive video tutorial on rendering on a later stage this simple procedure can be used not only on ventilators but on doors windows and cabinets wherever you see the presence of lures please do make a try and get back to me for any clarifications and hit the like button of this video if you really liked it and please subscribe to my channel